Class, this is a primary source. It will be read verbatim. I hope that many of you will go to NASA's website to read this primary source for yourself. HTTPS, www.nasa. Gov feature Robert Lawrence Major Robert H. Lawrence Jr. was the first African ancestored American astronaut. The Manned Orbiting Laboratory, MOLE, was a joint project of the United States Air Force and the National Reconnaissance Office to obtain high resolution photographic imagery of America's Cold War adversaries. Authorized in August 1965, the Manned Orbital Laboratory program envisioned a series of mini space stations in low polar Earth orbit, occupied by two man crews for 30 days at a time launching and returning to Earth aboard modified Gemini capsules. The United States Air Force selected Major Robert H. Lawrence, Jr., on June 30, 1967, as a member of the third group of aerospace research pilots for the Manned Orbital Laboratory Program. Lawrence thus became the first African ancestored American to be selected as an astronaut by any national space program. Of the significance of his selection, Major Lawrence said with his typical modesty, this is nothing dramatic. It's just a normal progression. I've been very fortunate. Born in Chicago on October 2, 1935, Lawrence graduated from high school at 16, earned his bachelor's degree in chemistry from Bradley University at age 20, and became an Air Force officer and pilot. Major Lawrence was a highly accomplished pilot with 2,500 flying hours, 2,000 in jets, and earned a Ph.D. in physical chemistry from the Ohio State University in 1965, the only selected mole astronaut with a doctorate. He completed the U.S. Air Force Test Pilot School in June 1967 and was immediately assigned to the Manned Orbital Laboratory Program. Major Lawrence served as an instructor teaching other pilots practicing landing techniques later used in the Space Shuttle Program. On December 8, 1967, at Edwards Air Force Base, California, Major Lawrence changed positions allowing Major Robert Haas to be the lead pilot of an F-104 Starfighter supersonic jet to practice a space shuttle landing procedure. Although both men ejected from the crash Major Robert Lawrence did not survive, the promising career of the brilliant pilot scientist was suddenly extinguished. He was survived by his wife Barbara and eight-year-old son Tracy. Fellow Mole classmate and later NASA astronaut Don Peterson recalled in an oral history, Bob was a super guy. His death was a terrible tragedy. After the Nixon administration cancelled the Mole program in June 1969, seven of the younger, under 35 Mole astronauts, Carl Bobko, Robert Crippen, Gordon Fullerton, Henry Hartsfield, Robert Overmere, Don Peterson, and Richard Truly, transferred to NASA, and since Lawrence was in that age range it is virtually certain he also would have transferred. All in that group flew on the space shuttle in the 1980s. It is easy to imagine that Major Robert Lawrence would have piloted one of the early space shuttle missions.